Speak up. I said you can search me, you can check me over. I have nothing on me. Do whatever you need to do to have this conversation. Start the conversation. What do you want? The truth. I... Bundy told me what happened between you and Bax. Bass looked me in the eye and he promised me that he had nothing to do with it. And that none of this had anything to do with it. And I, and I said if he was lying to me, I would hand my badge to him. Something isn't sitting right. He is lying. I can feel it. And no one is telling me the truth. People are covering for him. People are saying he's a good man. And for some reason, I feel like you're the only person who might tell me the truth. In your own way. By me. The guy that, uh, stabbed you, hurt you, made a mockery of you, hurt your friends, your family, and attempted to kill every single person that you know. But you come to me to seek closure. Why? You see, Bundy's happily pushing this stuff for me. You know what? When I invited Bass down here, he didn't say anything about what I did to you. He knew I even had a warrant for it. He didn't care to act upon it. He didn't care about what happened to you. He didn't mention you. He didn't say anything about you. And he's meant to be your leader. He represents you. Bundy, on the other hand, he wouldn't stop calling me, saying what he was going to do to me. He told me he was down here and he was ready to fuck me up for what I did to you. That doesn't show a difference in who cares and who doesn't. I don't know what does, Pond. But if you're going to believe that COP, you are going to be lied to misled to and you're going to follow a guy that is just as bad as me so uh, do you do remember do you remember when you took me to, to grandma's from here just over there and I told you you asked me what rank was and I told you I was a senior officer because I got promoted do you know who demoted me Sam Bass. Yep. Because I chose to shoot somebody who was holding up a hostage as they fled a scene. I did my job, stopped that person getting out of there. And I tried to make sure no one else got hurt. But I guess if you shoot the wrong people. And I have been working my ass off to get that promotion back. I mean, I don't give a fuck anymore. I, I don't, because it doesn't mean shit from him. Clearly doesn't mean shit. He used me as a scapegoat to please people. And he tells me, he sees me, and he says, Pond, you're doing great. You're doing amazing work. I don't believe any of it. I don't believe anything he says. Because I think he just feels guilty. Because if I'm doing such amazing work, then why would I get demoted? Because he's smart enough to know no one likes hearing their true thoughts. If he tells you the truth, no one's going to like him. He needs everyone to be behind him to keep his position. You're doing great, Pond. You're doing great, Bundy. He needs the PD on his side 
or no one is going to back him when he falls. But Pond, you said at the start of this conversation, if you think he's lying, you are going to hand in your badge. So my question is, who do you... Who are you convinced is telling the truth? Because I did actually try to save you that day. I'm sorry. I pulled it out of your leg and it led to more pain. I didn't mean that. I thought I was helping. And I'm sorry that it caused more problems. I, I, I forgive you, Dundee. I genuinely do. I think Dundee put it in the best way of we have to live with the fact that you became a monster of our creation. And we have to take responsibility for that in some way. So help this monster die in peace. And just move on. I've surrendered. Do we really need the warrant? I talked to Bundy about the warrant. I can't touch it, it's his. I will talk to him about it. What are you going to do with your badge, Pond? Very good. I think I'm gonna go have a talk with Ripley. Maybe have a talk with Bundy. And then I think I'm gonna pull Bass into a conversation alone. Give him one last chance to tell me the truth. I'm not looking to prosecute Bass. I just want to know that my chief is not lying to me. That's all I'm asking. I don't sleep. I can't even do my job right. I... I hear handcuffs go on somebody and I just think back to everything. I had a... The other detective, I look into murders. That's my thing. It's what I'm good at. And I had to go to a scene the other day where there were seven body parts and... I couldn't do it. I couldn't do my job. That's enough for me to deal with, let alone knowing that the man at the top who's supposed to protect me and is supposed to bat for me when shit goes wrong and is supposed to be there when I need him is lying to my face and let me put my badge on the line for it. That I can't. How am I, how am I supposed to do anything with my job if that's what's going on? Is that I go to BCSO because Preds are cunt. Yeah. At least we agree on one thing Preds are cunt. Oh, he saw me like this and told me the doghouse outside Mission Row PD was my new office. He wanted to put me on a bus and ship me off. Just remember what I said at the start of the conversation. When a cop killer is helping a cop, you should probably act upon that advice. Being a cop in this city, you ain't enforcing the law. You enforce what you think is ethically applicable. Officer discretion, they call it. I call it, how much do you want to abuse your powers? How much, do you, how much immunity do you want to grant yourself? 
Is it extortion? Is it human trafficking? Is it felony possession? Is it drug trafficking? Is it kidnapping? Is it torture? It all depends on how much you hate the person. And that goes to you too. Your higher ups, they only promote people they like regardless of performance. Do they really think they care about how many criminals you catch? It's about how often you help the people above you. And the fact that you're doubting Bass, why would he want you anywhere near his inner circle? As COP, he needs people to rely on so people listen to him. He doesn't need a Pond or a Bundy up his ass. He needs a Tony Andrews to play along. He needs a Wrangler to depend on. He needs a Pred to fuck over. He, need, he needs a Pred to yell at, I should say. Point is, if you ain't siding with him, he's never gonna put you in his inner circle, you are never gonna go up the ranks, and eventually, if you get too close to whatever happened to me, you're gonna end up like me! Out in the fucking ocean! And girl, I hope you can fucking swim. Cause it is hot and humid on KO Perico. You too, Sushi, thank you. Sweet, I don't, don't want to end up like that. I don't. I'll give you an ultimatum. <laughs> if you really want to help the people, if you resign, I'll go back to old me. Old Dundee. I'll try to have a better outlook on life. Maybe I'll shave the beard and forget about it. Maybe I'll dye my hair and just pretend I'm the happier person that I used to be. Help me from being this depressing fucking person I am. Let me think on it. Let me talk to Bundy. Let me, let me talk to the people I... The three, four people I still trust. Sad numbers dwindling pretty fast. I'm glad you've come to realize who your true friends really are. And I understand the pain you suffer. Because I'm not a cop, but I do run a faction. And I know how it feels to have a snake. Anything else? Like I said, I'll talk to Bundy about the worms. I'll talk to my friends. And I'll get back to you with an answer. I just... I can't have any more officers getting hurt because of this whole mess. I, I can't. And if they get hurt because I... What, tried to seek petty revenge? I, I can't live with that. I can't. I've, I've seen firsthand I am the consequence of Mass's actions. I will never inflict that on another person. See if you can get him to confess to you. If he doesn't confess to you upon you leaving, then he truly doesn't care. Because what's he got to lose? He. It's, it's out of the Statue of Limitations, months beyond. He cannot be charged for it. 
I don't want to charge into her. I just want to hear the truth. Trust me, if he doesn't confess, when you hand in the badge, keep walking away. Because he doesn't have anything to gain by confessing. He's got he's got everything to lose. If he doesn't if he doesn't confess, what does he gain? He loses nothing by not confessing. If he confesses, he could be going, he might go to jail. The only thing is ever gonna make him confess is if he gained something. And that's you. Go hand in your badge. If he doesn't confess, then he doesn't care. And you shouldn't be in a, in a industry where people don't care about you. Could you just end up like an old man like me? Who just sees everyone as negative. I can't trust people, Pond. Go resign and see if he confesses. If he doesn't, don't need to work there. If he does, then I was wrong. And he does care about you. And you get the truth. I hope I get the truth. Look, I could make up oh, a thousand lies. I could say that you tried to kill me or Ripley tried to kill me. But man, do I really look like the type of guy that wants to get transported to prison? Why would I ask for a prison transport? I didn't even know you guys do those. I feel like we've done like four, maybe? Either Bass has the worst luck in the world, or the day of my disappearance he became extremely incompetent. Or, that's what Bundy said. That's what Bundy said. Bundy said that either Bass was the most incompetent officer we ever had, or it was set up. You know what, I've told you the truth. What, you didn't think I'd find out? Yeah. It's your time. It's your. It's up to you to decide what you want to do with it. I uh, I appreciate the conversation. You should leave. I'm gonna gamble!